हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर इलेवन दैट इज जोमेट्रिकल कंस्ट्रक्शंस आई एम टेकिंग इट्स पार्ट वन विद एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ड्रॉ ए लाइन सेगमेंट ऑफ लेंथ सेवन पॉइंट सिक्स सेंटीमीटर एंड डिवाइड इट इन द रेशो फाइव रेशो एट एंड मेजर द टू पार्ट्स so here we will draw the construction i have taken a line segment ab of length 7.6 cm i want to divide it in 5 ratio 8 so what is the first step for the construction at point a we will draw an acute angle here i have drawn the angle of 60 degree such that angle b a x angle b a x is 60 degree with the same radius at point b again i will make angle a b y as 60 now i have drawn b a x 60 and a b y 60 so i have taken length a b 7.6 angle b a x 60 and angle aby 60 now because these are alternate angles so ax is parallel to by now as we have to divide ab in 5 ratio 8 so with a as center and any radius i will draw five equal arcs this is a a1 then a1 a2 then a2 a3 then a3 a4 then a4 a5 this is a1 a2 a3 a4 and a5 remember that first arc i will mark from point a and any radius and whatever radius i have selected that will remain same first arc from a to a1 then from a1 to a2 then from a2 a3 then from a3 a4 then from a4 a5 in the same way from point b with same radius b1 and then b2 then b3 b4 b5 b6 b7 and b8 here i am writing this is b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 b6 b7 and b8 if i have to divide in 5 ratio 8 on the line ax i have drawn five equal arcs with any radius and radius will not changed with same radius with b as center b1 then b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 b6 b7 and b8 i have drawn eight equal arcs now with the fifth arc a5 we will join b8 with a5 we will join b8 and this intersect ab at point p so if we measure ap ratio pb it will be 5 ratio 8 or p divides ab in 5 ratio 8 if i measure ap ap is here approximate 3 cm and pb is approximate 4.6 cm so i have ap as 3 cm and pb as 4.6 so if we check their ratios ap by pb it will be approximate ratio 5 ratio 8 so in this way we are dividing ab internally in 5 ratio 8 and p is a point which divides ab in 5 ratio 8 
So again, I'm repeating, it's very simple. First draw a line segment AB of the given length. At A and at B, make equal angles of 60 degree and they are alternate angles. So line AX is parallel to the line BY. Now with AS center, draw five equal arcs and don't consider the arc of the angle. This arc will not be considered any arc. Similarly from B, I will draw eight equal arcs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then A5 will be joined with B8 and the point P which is intersecting AB in five ratio eight. So in this way, we can divide a line segment in a given ratio internally. Now uh, from exercise 11.1, Construction of similar triangle is not in syllabus. From 11.1, .1, only one topic, how to divide a given line segment in a given ratio we have to do. Similar triangles construction is not in syllabus. So next we move to the next exercise, 11.2. Uh, question number one, draw a circle of radius 6 cm from a point 10 cm away from its center Construct the pair of tangents to the circle and measure their length. Now we will discuss how to draw the tangents by construction. Earlier we have studied about a tangent in chapter 10. And now we will do how to draw it geometrically. So look here. First I have drawn a circle with center O and radius OP as 6 cm. I have drawn a circle with radius 6 cm whose center is O. Now T is an external point at a distance of 10 cm from the center. From T, I want to draw the tangents to the given circle. Now how to draw tangents to the given circle? From a point from where we have to draw the tangents, draw the perpendicular bisector of line OT. I have OT as 10 cm. So draw its perpendicular bisector by open your compass more than half. You have also studied in your previous class how to draw the perpendicular bisector of OT. So this is the perpendicular bisector of OT and I get its midpoint. So midpoint of OT is here R. Let R as midpoint of OT. Now with R as center and O as O R as radius, draw another circle which will pass through O and T. With R as center and radius O R. Draw a circle which will pass through O and T. Now this new circle intersecting the previous circle at point S and Q. This new circle intersecting the given circle at point S and Q. So I will join TQ. This is TQ. And then I will join TS. And in this way, TQ and TS are the tangents. TQ and TS. If I measure their length, it is approximate 8.4 cm. 8.3 approximate. So length of the tangent is... 8.2 cm. In this way, we can draw the tangent from an external point. Once again, how to draw a tangent to a circle of radius 6 cm? From a point, from an external point T, at a distance of 10 cm from the center. So first, I have drawn a circle with radius OP 6 cm and center as O. And one point T 
at a distance of 10 cm from the center of the circle. So I will draw the perpendicular bisector of OT. Let R is the midpoint of OT with R as center and radius OR. Draw another circle which is passing through O and T. Now the new circle with center R intersecting the previous circle at point S and Q. If I join T S and T Q they are the tangents from point T and as we have studied the property tangents to a circle from an external point are equal. Now question 2. Construct a tangent to a circle of radius 4 cm from a point on the concentric circle of radius 6 cm and measure the length of the tangent. So here I have taken two concentric circle. Concentric means which they have same center and different radius. So O is the center and one circle with radius OP that is 4 cm and other circle with radius OT that is 6 cm. Now from point T on the outer circle I have to draw tangents on the inner circle. So as we have done in the previous question first step is to draw the perpendicular bisector of OT. First of all draw the perpendicular bisector of OT by taking radius more than half. So I am drawing the perpendicular bisector of OT. Now by perpendicular bisector I will get the midpoint of OT. So let R is midpoint of OT. Now with R as center and radius OR. I will draw another circle with R as center and radius OR. I will draw another circle which will pass through O and T. Thus I have three circles now. Two were already given. One with center O radius OP 4 cm. Other with center O radius OT 6 cm. If I want to draw tangents from T to the circle to the inner circle, I have to draw the perpendicular bisector of OT. R is the midpoint. With R as center, draw the third circle passing through O and T. Where this third circle meets the first circle, mark them as TQ and TS. Now we join TQ and TS. Now we join TQ and TS. And they are the required tangents from point T at a distance of 6 cm. And if I measure the length, I can also do the verification of this. If I join Q with this center, now it is the radius and this is a tangent. So this angle will be 90 and this length is 6 cm. This length is 6 and this radius is 4 cm. So by Pythagoras in triangle OQT, Angle Q is 90, OQ is 4 cm and OT is 6 cm. I can find the length of TQ that is 6 cm minus 4, 6 square minus 4 square, 36 minus 16, it is root 20. If I measure it by calculation and measure it by actual calculation, they will be approximate equal. So in this way we can do the verification and I hope you are able to draw tangent to a given circle from an external 
point. Thank you.